which is going to be the fourth video in the series involving integrals that use uh, natural log function. And in particular, uh, the integral of 1 over u turns into the natural log of u. Now, if you haven't done it yet, I would definitely watch the first three videos because it'll show you where these formulas come from. And in the first three videos, uh, we work with indefinite integrals. I just finished this up in this last video. We'll do one problem involving a definite integral to show you handle, how to handle those. But again, just a reminder, it will eventually involve the integral of 1 over u will turn into the natural log of u. So let's take a look at a, at a definite integral. Okay, now here's what the problem looks like. You want to find uh, the integral of 3 over 2x minus 1 uh, between 1 and 4. And like all problems, if you get a chance to, if there's a constant that you can factor out, we'll go ahead and factor that out before we start uh, working with the u substitution. So what I'll do, here's a constant 3. So my very first step will be to go ahead and bring that outside the integral. So this will be 3 times the integral from 1 to 4. Of, and that'll make this be now 1 over uh, 2x minus 1. And then I've got a dx right here. Now, we talked about in the previous videos, you've got 1 over something, but it's more complicated than just a simple x, so you're going to have to use u substitution right here. Now, when I do the u substitution, uh, I'm going to have to change it from an x problem into a u problem, so I'll need to get rid of that right there. So my choice of u is going to be 2x minus 1. So we'll do the u substitution actually right down here. So I'll have let u be equal to um, 2x minus 1. Then find the derivative of that. So the derivative of u with respect to x. And the derivative of 2x would be a 2. The derivative of a constant would be 0. And that gets you to du is equal to 2dx. Now, at this point in u substitution, you need to look back at the original problem. You're trying to get rid of a dx. Here's the dx, but you don't need this 2. So take the 2 and move it to the other side and make it be a 1 half du will be equal to dx. So now uh, this dx right here agrees with this dx up here, and this is going to be your u substitution right there. So there's the use substitution, and like we've done in all the other videos, we'll go ahead and put a little box around this just to isolate it. So we'll go from here to here and stick a little box around this thing. So what that is, that is the U substitution. Okay, so what that gets you to now would be this. We'll go, this is going to be the integral of 3 and you're going to have an integral from 1 over, and this will turn into 1 over u, and in place of the dx, put what dx is equal to, which is 1 half du. So this is going to be a 1 half du. Okay, now the next thing, you've got a one, constant 1 half here, so you can bring the 1 half outside the integral, and that will get you to this. This will become the integral of, this will now become 3 halves, uh, the integral of 1 over u du. But remember, at the top up here, this went from x equals 1 to x equals 4. So whenever you change it to a u problem, we'll also change the limits here as well. So let's go ahead and we'll do those in blue. Um, so uh, I'll change my limits down here. So this is going to be where we change the limits from x limits to u limits. So to start with, I'll do this. When, um, when x is equal to 4 up here, so when x is equal to 4, uh, take a 4 and plug it into this right here and figure out what u is. So this would be 2 times 4 minus 1. So 8 minus 1 would give you 7. So when x is equal to 4, u is equal to 7. Then you'll have when, um, and now we'll look at when x is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 1, then again take a 1 and plug it into this. This would be 2 times 1 minus 1, which will give you 1. So these will be the limits, and just to isolate them, we'll stick a little box around those as well. So we'll go and put a little box around this thing. 
So here is my use substitution and here with the limits. So now with that in mind, um, I think I'll put them in red just so they kind of stand out. My new limits are this. Um, when x is equal to 4, u is equal to 7. So this is going to go from u is equal to 7 here. And I'm going to go from u is equal to 1 here. So those are the new limits. Okay, now continuing on with the problem then. Uh, first of all, we need to find the antiderivatives. So this is going to be um, 3 halves of the antiderivative of this thing. Now again, just a reminder, uh, you've got the integral of 1 over u du, and let's go back and take it quickly to the formulas. Um, the integral of 1 over u du would be equal to the natural log of u plus c, so that's going to turn into a natural log. So what this is going to be would be the natural log of the absolute value of u, <coughs> and then um, we'll evaluate that between 7 and 1. So just like on any definite integral, this will be 3 halves of, and what we'll do is first of all plug in the 7, so this would be the natural log of the absolute value of 7, um, minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1. But also a reminder, um, the natural log of 1 is 0, so this will actually turn into a zero right here. And the final answer then would be three halves of the natural log of seven. And that's gonna be the exact answer to the problem. Now, if you were to put that on a calculator, that will turn out to be approximately, we'll call it 2.918. So if you needed a decimal answer, that's how you get it. But anyway, this is just an example of uh, a definite integral that involves this one over u, integral of 1 over u, which turns into the natural log. So with that, that completes the four-part series on these uh, integrals involving natural logs.